Elders, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, respected leaders, and most of all, to the graduating classes. I know there are many classes at the College of New Caledonia here. On behalf of the Lake Babi Nation, the membership, the chief and council, administration, and all of the surrounding communities, I would like to take this opportunity to first of all congratulate each and every graduating member from whatever course, class that you have taken at the College of New Caledonia. We send our sincere congratulations to each and every one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the College of New Caledonia in the tremendous effort that they have provided in given the education that the students come here to, to receive their various degrees or graduates that have come to the school. I thank you for all of the work that you do in keeping the relationship with the First Nations in the surrounding area open and so progressive, especially when it comes to adult education for First Nations people. I really thank you for all of the um, efforts that you, that you carry out in our communities. I want to take this opportunity to thank our staff that work closely with the students and with the college, Education Director Monty Palmatier, Post-Secondary Education Coordinator Brenda Michelle Joseph, and our Elementary School uh, Coordinator Gina Patrick, and the many other education staff that, that you know, contribute to the education. I think education is the key. We need to have the education of our young people of our members, because education will be the foundation of change. And I think that's what we strive for. We want to make changes that will better those that are following us, those children, and those children yet to be born. So that is why I think, as a leader, education has got to be the number one priority in all of our books. We need to start education, ed educating our own people so that our foundations will be that much more solid when we, in turn, give the reins to the younger people. Far too often we just give it lip service and say that, you know, the young people are our future leaders, but there is no action behind it. So I really want to take this opportunity in congratulating each and every one of you that have, you know, taken it upon yourselves to enter the school, um, the school classrooms and some of you have been absent for many years, and I know as a mature student how difficult that can be. And to, to strive towards graduating and succeeding at something that you have dreamed about. As Karina said, you know, dream, dream for the skies and you may end up with the stars. So I really thank each and every one of you for coming out, because without support, and commitment from your families, your loved ones, and even your children, oftentimes it gets too difficult. So congratulate yourself and those that have supported and loved you through this whole process. I think, um, as you can see, CNC has really been growing and there's gonna be a number of other initiatives that CNC is undertaking. So I think next year we need to look for bigger facilities because <laughs> this is, jam-packed here, standing room only, and I'm hoping that the people that are out in the, uh, in the foyer can really participate and hear what's going on in here because there's a lot more people that are standing out there. So congratulations CNC, I think you've done a wonderful job again this year, and to those that are graduating, you know, my personal congratulations, and I know the Chief and Council and the Administration also want to wish you the best of luck and you know, make something of the education that you've attained here. Congratulations and thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, on behalf of Watsoda and First Nation, I want to welcome you all here. 
And I also say thank you to the College of New Caledonia for um, having me speak up here on behalf of our nation. <clears throat> I want to acknowledge our students um, from our nation. It's been, we're a small community, but it's, it's with great pleasure that we acknowledge at least four of our students from our community. And I also want to acknowledge the other graduates as well. And um, further to that, I just say that your dream doesn't stop there. It's all about um, reaching out to others after that, impacting others with your life, your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations for your life. And I understand that there's um, students here that are parents and also possibly grandparents. My hat's off to you because there are challenges that you do face. Um, trying to run your household and then doing your homework and keeping up with the daily life stressors. And I think that um, you owe it to yourself. Um, today is a day of celebration of all your successes. And so on behalf of my council, um, Councillor Margaret Sampson and Councillor Danielle Ogan, my hat's off to you. I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, what's up?